What's the landscape look like in 2023? What best practices can we use in 2023 to be successful? What is the industry going to look like? Second half of 2019, interest rates start to come down. Things are getting really good in the industry again. Early 2020, we have that COVID 15 days to slow the spread. The Federal Reserve starts buying mortgage-backed securities and then we're just off to the races. But what happened in 2022? The Federal Reserve stopped buying mortgage-backed securities, interest rates more than doubled, and we really found ourselves at the end of the year during the slowest origination period probably in 25 years, maybe longer, because 25 years ago, we had less people in this country. We did, as an industry, about 2.25 trillion in mortgage origination. That's down from over 4 trillion in 2020 and 2021. But if you really break that down, we did a little over 60% of that in the first six months of the year, and we did a little less than 40% of that during the second six months of the year. So not to get too technical, but the run rate for the second half of 2022 was about 1.6 trillion, or just over 800 billion for the six months. So when we look at 2023, what's projected? A little over 2 trillion. Overall, that's down from 2022. But when you look at the run rate, what was the last six months of 2022? We're gonna tick up a little bit in 2023 and we're gonna really start to feel that at the beginning of the second quarter is what's predicted. We've got about 90 days of hand-to-hand -hand combat, face-to-face, belly-to-belly sales. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenging time, January, February, March. But as we get into that spring market, I would really look for those originations. People are more used to the interest rates that we're at right now. They don't wanna miss out on a spring buying season. That's when we should start to notice things really starting to uptick. Again, not like a 2020, 2021 timeframe, but much better than what you saw the second half of 2022. As we're recording this video, interest rates are about six and a half-ish, maybe six and a half-ish with some points. We think we're gonna see a moderation of interest rates. We think they're gonna come down a little bit. For the first six months of the year for 2023, I think we're gonna be maybe touching six, maybe a little bit less. For the second six months, I think we might get down to the mid fives, maybe the mid to low fives as we get towards November, December, 2023. So that will be helpful as we start to get some relief from where we've been the last six months in this toughest time frame. We think interest rates have peaked already when we got up at seven and over the sevens, and now we're gonna come back down but one thing about this economy and this news cycle and everything, I, I don't think it's gonna be smooth. I think there's gonna be some chop in there. So you gotta be prepared to ride it out a bit. What do we at Success Unlimited think is the best thing to do? I think it's really to use this time to plant seeds, get more referral sources, talk to more realtors, get in front of more financial planners. Boost your online presence, boost your social media presence, and commit yourself to improving your technology stack and really taking advantage of the technology, some of the technology, the predictive analysis and whatnot. And then when it's harvest time, when things start to get a little bit better, you've got more planted seeds to sprout and grow, you've got more to harvest. The overall numbers aren't gonna bowl you over when you look through a 2020 or a 2021 lens, but we do anticipate it to be considerably better when you look at that run rate and what we're coming off of from the second half of 2022. Do everything you can to go out and make it a great 2023. If we can help you in any way, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for taking a minute to watch this video and uh, God bless you and have a prosperous 2023. Thank you.